Good morning, YouTube. I am in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Let me show you where I stayed last night. Okay, you know the routine. Go potties. That makes three. Got a real nice parking spot here. Gas 201 a gallon. But I'm at the Walmart on 40 and I had a yard. Anytime I'm able to park on grass like this, I call it my yard. I was able to park almost level. So, so far, parking has not been an issue with uh, towing this tracker. Everything seems to be fine. It got cold last night. As far as I can tell, I was the only RV here. There were maybe three trucks. A little bit of wind this morning. Look at all the cameras up here. How much safer can you get than that? guy here this morning six o'clock this morning no four o'clock picking up trash we all do what we have to do to get by i'm gonna put some miles on and get on down the road oh that baby may maze you're gonna make your tummy itch she loves to scratch in the grass Okay, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Walmart. It's time to hit the road. On the road again. Shoo -shoo. Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends. Da 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 who sings that song, man? Well, that's 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 Willie Nelson. It's called On the Road Again. Well, I kind of figured the name of the song, man. That's all you've been saying. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Willie Nelson. He's been around for like a long, long time. And, uh, hold on a second. Are you girls fighting back there? Mm-hmm. Get in your exercise. Yeah, you betcha. Look what I can do. <laughs> Don't you let old Martini pick on you too bad. You fight back. You fight back. You're not just pretty. Yeah. Sure, you mean business. Sure, you mean business. All right. Time to get going. Let's hit the road. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. I'm ready, too. Well, I could go. If you're going, I'm going where you're going. Well, you kind of stuck with me, Tuck. All right. Let's get out of here. I'll tell you what. The power of this V10 is incredible. I think the tracker weighs just a little over 2,000 pounds. And I have yet to take this thing out of overdrive. I guess I get around the Rockies over there, I'll have to, but uh, or some mountain ranges or whatnot. But so far, I've got all the power I could ever want. I've had to stomp it two or three times, and uh, buddy, hang on, this V10 will snap your neck. I've had a bunch of power strokes and a bunch of diesels. I guess I've had four or five 7.3s turbo diesels. They were awesome. Hold on a second. They were awesome. But the maintenance and uh, repairs, uh, my opinion was just too high. And the fuel mileage was overshadowed by the extra fuel cost and uh, cost of repairs. I realized they'll run a lot further 
but around 160 to 175 thousand miles I had to do the uh, injector seals and the cost of that I could put a new gas engine in put in a long block start over fresh on a gas engine I'm not sure about these v10s all right let me get back to driving I'm sitting here running my mouth well I am just outside of Oklahoma City Oklahoma maybe by 30 40 miles and uh, I just noticed the trees they're uh, getting very very scattered I remember driving back from Quartzsite last time and I was so excited when I saw grass and then I was excited again when I hit Texas and saw trees a little scrub stuff here and there but for the majority of this is turning into open land thank you guys for following along with me keeping me company I hope you guys are uh... oh there's a tree made a story out of me I hope you guys are enjoying this outside of Clinton, Oklahoma. Seeing my very first windmills. That's impressive. Well, I guess I was wrong about the trees. I may drive for a long, long time and not see any. Then I'll pull into a grove like this. Hollis, Hollis, Oklahoma. Hey, at least they got trees. Got a loves up here. 214 for unleaded. At 225 for unleaded, 279 for diesel. Going up a little bit. Welcome to Texas. Here we are. Texas on 10 when I came back last year I took a little bit of a southern route to go pick up this geo tracker so anything's got to beat 10 I'm about 120 miles from Amarillo Amarillo just past the sign it says 104 miles to Amarillo I lived in Texas back in the early 90s. I came down to Houston area in the floods of early 90, I think it was 92, doing flood, flood damage cleanup. And uh, ended up staying out here a year. I would have never left, but I had family back in Georgia. I love me some Texas. Everybody's real proud. Uh oh. Everybody's real proud to be from Texas. You run up across somebody. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. And I'm proud to be from Georgia. But, uh, yeah, I love me some Texas. I'm going to try to make Amarillo tonight. That'll give me 300 miles. I always heard that Texas was nothing but steers and... Tucker, don't you dare. Don't you even go there. Do you know how many people you upset in Arkansas? Well, anybody die? No. So they just got upset? Yes, Tucker, a few people got upset. So they were just offended? Yes. Nobody died? No. I think they'll be all right. Okay. You got to quit buttoning in all the time. 
you guys ever see a Ace Hardware grocery store together? Me either. Things are kind of pricey. All right, got two new keys for the tracker. Double check. That one works. That one works. I only had one key for the tracker. Left my spare at RV base camp. Didn't feel too good about it. All right, I'll hook the battery up and let it idle for a minute. I put 200 miles on it this way. I'm gonna fix me a bite to eat. Let the babies run out in here. Last time I checked, I had 200 comments that I had to approve on that last video. So I'll get all this done. I just turned off I-40. I'm about 50 miles east of Abilene. I saw this sign here, Lake McClellan. And it's about, I got about an hour, hour and 15 minutes before dark. So, said they had camping up here. I believe we'll go check it out. Some strange looking country. Don't know how well it's picking up on the camera. Time to give Walmart a break, maybe. Says to pull down here to the permit office. All right. Daily fee. Yeah, ATVs for five dollars. I thought I saw a lot of trails coming in here. Camping fees. Ten dollars per site. Fifteen dollars for electric site. Am I reading that right? Hmm. Guess I'll figure it out. Where are the permits at? Uh, there's a toilet. Did you guys see a permit? Okay, I'll figure this out and get back with you. I'm gonna end the little video right here. May or may not stay here at this uh, campsite on the lake. But I appreciate- In 400 feet, make a U-turn. But I appreciate each and every one of you. I have been stopping and taking time to read your comments. Uh, thank you for all the kindness and kind words and everything about the Amazon thing. That's all on the past. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Uh, but, uh, okay, going to end the video. See you again later. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.